Hello guys and welcome to another HackerRank video. Today we're going to be inserting a node at the end of a linked list. So we've done inserting a node at the front of a linked list. Now we're going to cover the end of a linked list. So adding a node at the end of a linked list is just a little bit difficult than adding to the front, but it's still not that difficult. So what we need to do is first, we need to check to see if the head is null. So let's just do that first here so let's go ahead here and let's create a new node let's call this one node is going to equal to new and we're going to pass in the data all right so with this problem we don't want to lose reference to our head um but we always have to account for our head. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say that if a head is equal equal to no, then what we want to do is make the head the current node, and then we're gonna go ahead and return the head, right? Else, if head is not no, so for example, if we had you know, multiple nodes. And sorry for the bad drawing. So this is our current head and it points to this node and then this node points to this node here. So now the last node is gonna have the reference pointing to no, right? And what we wanna do is we wanna take our node here, our node. So our node is gonna have the data But the uh, next is also going to be null here. So what we want to do is we actually want to give this node this reference. So we want to take this node and reference it to this one. All right, so this is not longer going to be null anymore. It's going to have the reference to this one right here, okay? So what we need to do is we need to traverse over the um, nodes from the head until we are here. And then we just need to take the next reference and place it here and give it the value of this node, all right? So what we need to do is we need to actually keep a reference of the head because we need to return that head back. So I'm gonna do a control V here. We're gonna create a new node. This is going to be the current node. And this is gonna to equal to the head, okay? I think we're, when we um, add it to the front, I didn't actually say you can um, keep a reference of it. If you're gonna reuse your head later on, or you need to return it later on, you need to keep a reference of it. Um, it's just standard practice with doing uh, single link list. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna say that uh, while um, current that next, right, is not equal to no, then we're gonna make current, right? Uh, equal to current dot next, all right? So we're pretty much going through this and we're saying, okay, hey, this is the current node. And if this is not null, right? It makes this the current node. And if this is um, not null, right? But eventually when we get here, we're gonna stop right here because this is actually null. So we know that we're gonna be at the last node where this is null. So with that said and done, what we need to do now is we're going to say that um, current dot next is gonna equal our node. So we're gonna give current dot next that uh, new node, right? So it's gonna give it that the reference to our new node. And then we need to um, return the head. All right. So we don't want to lose track of our head, so we give it the reference to something else. So I know how people think that things in memory work, but there are certain things in memory, right? Like when you create an array, and if you don't give it the new, and you say array A equals array B, if you modify array A, array B also gets modified. So this is what's pretty much happening here. So a lot of people may have misconceptions about how things work in memory. 
Um, but some things do not create new objects, right? They just keep, they're, they're pretty much linked to the reference of another thing. And if you modify that new thing, it modifies the old thing as well, all right? So this is what's pretty much happening here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep the, we're gonna return the head, all right? So let's go ahead and run this. All right, and let's submit. All right guys, this will be it for this tutorial. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day, bye-bye.